Hey guys, it's Brian with Retired at 40. Welcome back to the Live Life Simple Kitchen. And I have tried just about anything you can imagine in the freeze dryer. Many, many successes, but also some fails. So every once in a while, I feel like I, I wanna redeem myself to make things that have failed in the past work somehow. So today, we're gonna do one of my handful of fails since I started freeze drying. Today we're gonna try and freeze dry and successfully rehydrate America's favorite meat, if you wanna call it that. Today we're doing freeze dried hot dogs. So call them what you're gonna call them, Frank's, Wieners, hot dogs. Probably the most all-American thing that we grill, especially with these summer months coming up. I really just want to be able to do this start to finish. I want a complete hot dog and all the fixins for it uh, to be able to freeze dry and rehydrate. And I wanna be able to use no refrigeration. I wanna be able to enjoy this on the top of a 14,000 foot mountain if I want to. Okay, probably not that last one because we're probably gonna have to get a little bit creative in order to rehydrate some of this stuff, but I'm gonna do the whole complete hot dog. I'm gonna do the hot dog itself, I'm gonna do the buns, I'm gonna do some onions, some chili for chili dogs. We're also gonna freeze dry some ketchup and some mustard in these silicone molds, and I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and throw those in the freezer right now. I'm just gonna add a little bit to the bottom of each of these silicone molds, and then we're gonna freeze them. Uh, we already know that those work from one of my last videos, but it's gonna be a nice addition to this video. And I love to experiment with different ways of freeze drying and rehydrating, so we're gonna rehydrate in an interesting way when we get to that point. So freeze dryers know that fat content of what you're freeze drying is pretty sensitive, and if you're looking to store something for more than just a short amount of time, that your fat content needs to be pretty low. So I'm skipping the beef franks today, um, but if you notice, if you go to your store and and I didn't notice this until we actually went to the store to buy hot dogs. I started looking at the label. Most of the hot dogs that you buy now are turkey, chicken, and pork, not beef. So we're gonna try three different kinds today. We're gonna do some Ginny O turkey franks. You can see that says 40% less fat. That's always good to see. We're gonna do some uncured jumbo Oscar Mayer wieners. Always a classic on that one. And then I, I thought that I would try some Oscar Mayer cheese dogs as well. And then we're gonna try and rehydrate some buns, which might be the biggest challenge of this whole video. I'm gonna rehydrate some onion to throw on there. Some ketchup and some mustard, which we've done in a, a previous video. We know that works good, but I wanna be able to rehydrate the whole thing um, from start to finish. And then we're also gonna do some chili as well. So one of the ways I went wrong on the last time I tried to do these is I think that they just didn't have enough place for stuff to, for moisture to escape. So I'm gonna slit these hot dogs right down the center. It gives it a place for the water to escape. And those are the cheesy hot dogs. These are just the plain Oscar Mayer wiener. And then the Jenny O turkey franks are the last here. And most importantly, so these don't get mixed up, I want to label these on the parchment paper. Uh, I'm using parchment paper. This is from our store, freezedryingsupplies.com. I'm gonna put our buns on the side here, and then I think I'm gonna fill the rest of this area with our chili. And this is where the parchment paper is gonna come in real handy. And then because this is not gonna fill up an entire large cycle, I'm gonna just combine this with some other stuff that I have. All right, we're gonna use our tray stackers. We'll join these up with the stuff that's already in here. We'll meet you at the freeze dryer. If you're looking for a great resource to pick up some tips or suggestions or some opinions on certain things, join our Facebook group or our MeWe group. Uh, both the social media groups, they have thousands and thousands of members who are experienced in freeze drying. It's just an invaluable resource if you're into freeze drying or you're curious about freeze drying. Also consider subscribing to Live Life Simple, Retired at 40. We're also a resource. We do primarily freeze drying videos and we've been doing them for years and years now. We have lots of experience. Also click that bell next to the subscribe button. That'll turn on your notifications. It will notify you every time a new video comes out, which for us is every Sunday at 8 a.m. 
And if you found this video helpful or any of our other videos helpful, do us a big favor, hit that thumbs up button. It really lets YouTube know uh, where they should send these types of freeze drying videos to. It helps it get it to the right audience, helps freeze drying get the exposure that it deserves. And for any of the products or accessories you see in this video or other videos, you can go to our store freezedryingsupplies.com and pick those up. And one last thing, if you're thinking about purchasing a freeze dryer, consider using our affiliate link. It helps you out, it helps us out, and it in turn helps out the entire freeze drying community. I do have kind of a Franken batch going on here. I'm doing some uh, green beans on the bottom, some sauerkraut soup on the second shelf, and then this third shelf is gonna be some pickles, one of our favorites. We like to make pickle chips. And then I've got some onions for the hot dog as well as some more pickles. And then our top shelf is uh, gonna be our, our different hot dogs, our buns, and our chili to go for chili dogs. And then you'll notice I'm not putting my pillow in because I've heard a lot of chatter lately on both of the groups talking about um, Harvest Right not shipping with pillows and if it makes a difference. So I've kind of been curious about that. So I've been running batches without pillows. Uh, so far, I haven't really noticed a, a noticeable difference. Um, I do think it's kind of nice though because you can actually see the food while you're freeze drying. So if something catastrophic is happening, you can be on top of it right away and you'll also notice my new addition which I'm pretty excited about um, I have an oilless pump now anyway I'm gonna get this going and I'll see you on the flip side all right so it's about 10 o'clock at night it's like it's taking about 35 hours almost 36 hours now so our final dry countdown has not started yet and I'm gonna go to bed I'm gonna add some more time to this right now we're at about 36 hours and I added nine nine hours on. But what's really interesting about seeing this without the pillow on is you can notice a couple things. Our stuff that's on the bottom here is very, very dry, but when you scroll up to the hot dogs, you can see the hot dogs have some bubbles on them already. So I'm really interested to see what that, what that looks like once we get them out of here. And they almost look like they're cooked, which is kind of strange. To be fair, this was probably done or really close to done when I went to bed last night. We're at 45 hours and 25 minutes right now. Green beans are all done. Our sauerkraut soup looks great. Pickles are all good. Onions. And now the hot dogs. So the hot dogs are very, very interesting. But first I'm gonna check our chili to make sure we're good with the chili. Nothing was cold to the touch. So it looks like we're all good on that. Hot dog says it still has some moisture. Just to be sure, I wanna uh, I wanna add some time. I'm gonna add eight hours onto here. See you in a second. Okay, well we're now we're up to 53 hours, 24 minutes. I like to treat everything as a potential lesson and something that we can learn from. So I'm gonna bag all this up and I'm gonna take it upstairs and uh, we're gonna rehydrate some hot dogs. Let's check out our chili first and see how this turned out. Oh yeah, that's just how we want it. Looks good. Dry and powdery and chili just always does really, really well. I think in this next bag is all of the rest of our stuff aside from our hot dogs. So we're gonna have our ketchup and our mustard and our buns and all that stuff, the onions. And these have been a new favorite of mine, the ketchup and the mustard. If you put them in the silicone molds and then freeze them before you freeze dry them, they just come out in a single serving like that. Those are a total win. Our onions, are always they always do really well. Bun's gotten really nice and dry. These might be a, a challenge to get to rehydrate. So our last thing is going to be the different types of hot dogs. And I've decided that these have a striking resemblance to a Slim Jim, especially these turkey dogs that just kind of withered away to nothing. The, the cheese dogs, uh, they just, they look like they kind of have cheesy warts on them almost. Just the, the regular old Oscar Mayer wiener, those did the best out of all of them. 
I could not really get these hot dogs to dry after 50 something hours, but I really want to see what the insides of them look like to see if they actually got dry on the inside. The moisture I believe is just coming from the amount of fat that's on them. So you can see the inside as well has plenty of oil, grease, fat. But because I like to learn things and uh, share my experiences with you, I want to rehydrate these in an interesting way because if there is a chance that you can get a certain type of hot dog to freeze dry or something that's similar to it, some type of sausage, brat, something like that, I want to try and rehydrate it with beer because I think uh, like a beer brat or a beer hot dog, I think just infused with that beer will, uh, will probably be pretty good. So I do nothing but the best on this channel. And then I'm also gonna get um, a hot kettle going for the chili to rehydrate the chili because it will, it will rehydrate instantly. The mustard and the ketchup can just be uh, added, some water can just be added to those. And then I think I'm gonna throw the onions, I'm gonna dip them in some water quick and then we'll fry them up for the hot dogs. I'm really struggling with these buns because they are harder than a rock. They're gonna have to be steamed, I think, and the best way to do that is probably in the microwave. So I wet down a pretty big paper towel, uh, soaked it down. I actually put it in the microwave by itself for about a minute because I want that to get good and hot before I uh, try and put it around the, the bun. I only have two to test out. I'm gonna put this in for one minute, see if it does anything to that bun. And that did just about nothing. So now I rolled it inside of the paper towel, just kind of rolled it up like a burrito. We're gonna do that for another minute. In the meantime, let's check on our chili and our condiments. If you caught the video from a couple weeks ago, I did ketchup and mustard. Uh, the ketchup takes a little bit longer to rehydrate. It's, uh, it's best if you can powder it down or if you have time to let it sit for a while. Mustard works really, really well. Just instantly it turns into exactly how mustard is. The onions are rehydrated really well. I'm gonna let them sit for just a little bit longer. And then this chili, I'm just gonna add some hot water to it. That's perfect. I'm not having much luck on the bun. I think it's probably gonna have to stay overnight in a paper towel uh, to get it to, to soak up moisture. Well, five minutes in the microwave and this thing has not budged one bit. It's still hard as a rock. In fact, it's been in so long that it's burned. So I think the only way that's gonna happen is probably overnight in the refrigerator, if anything. But if you have any suggestions or tips on how to rehydrate a bun or bread, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. So I say I'm just gonna use a normal bun. But what we do have, are some beer infused cheddar dogs, turkey dogs, and Oscar Mayer wieners to test out. So let's cut all three of these in half now. And I want you to notice too, the one in the middle is just the plain old Oscar Mayer wiener. And that one actually, it rehydrated really well. It looks almost exactly like it should, um, even though it wasn't a total success. It almost looks like it has a smoke ring or something, which is kind of interesting. But everything else is rehydrated and ready to go. So in order to complete this video, I think we need to put together the hot dog and uh, see how it goes. So for my taste test, I think I'm just gonna use the plain old Oscar Mayer wiener since that is the one that did the best. I'm gonna add some of my fried onions to it and then some ketchup and a little mustard. For the chili dog, I'm gonna use the cheese wiener with our chili. Well, they don't look too terrible. Let's see how they taste. Here goes our all-American hot dog. It's not the worst thing I've ever had. I will say it does still have a hot dog flavor, whether that's a good thing or not. The hot dog is a little chewy. Let's see how the chili dog did. I'm gonna need some water for this one. Well, both our hot dog and our chili dog, uh, the hot dogs just, they don't really do very well. They were in that beer for about, I think 15 minutes soaking in there. Maybe they would soften up a little bit if you had them in overnight or just threw them in the refrigerator or something in some water so they had time to soak all that up. You might be able to get them to work. Um, that particular type of hot dog, it's gonna be too greasy. I actually took a paper towel and paper toweled them off before I bagged them up because um, it took me a couple days to get back to this video. But maybe you can find a particular brand that works. Either way, this is all a learning experience, whether it's a success and fail. We had some successes uh, a couple 
couple fails with the hot dogs and the buns. But uh, either way, this is retired at 40. Remember to live life simple. We'll catch you next week. We want the hot dog.